Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out Canaria's new upload of Demon Lord. Now, I'm excited to check this out. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Vocaloid song. So, once more, we're going to be checking out Vocaloid and Canaria, who is a pretty big artist. I know a lot of VTubers tend to cover Canaria songs. I believe Canaria did do King, which is kind of like the VTuber cover song. <laughs> so, I'm excited to check this out. Let's just jump into things in 3, 2, 1... Late. All right, I'm kind of funky here. Oh, I I like how I like how we're like simulating horns with those like synth, just quick synth notes there. Like that sounds like it's just a digital emulation of horns I, I like how that's being done there and we also got this like squeaky uh treble tonality that's pretty consistent throughout the mix as well okay Okay, got some harmonies in here. I, I like how it, 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 we've got like this uh, spoon <laughs> effect. I, I say spoon, I'm not sure exactly what they are. It's like this metal, um, just a, this quick metal. It's, it's a very flat uh, percussive element and I say flat and on pitch but in, in just the way it doesn't really resound it's just like a quick little tick 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 and we're adding that into the percussion here um, and it, it's quite interesting always with like Vocaloid it's just synthesized vocals it, it, the way that it, it it doesn't really have that you know the human inflection and stuff but it's used as a digital instrument in a way and so it's always interesting to hear how that's mixed into songs like this mm. Mm, nice like there you can imagine how it's probably like it's more of a head voice here like we have this lift into the head voice and you can imagine kind of how that would sound with the real vocalist but it's cool to see how that's recreated with these digital elements here. All right. Okay. Okay, these sustains here. You know, I, I'm very interested in how we're creating this impact here, right? Because we're, we're getting these, like, horn emulations um, through the synth. But we don't have, like, a crazy amount of tracks being added or anything to get that big moment, you know? But we're just kind of going all in on the vocals, which is interesting on a vocal song, right? Because it's we're centering around the vocals, but it, it doesn't really have all that inflection, all that flair that can be in a human vocal. But we're still getting like a good sustain from it. We're we're seeing how uh, the vocal tracks are being manipulated as well. You know, we have the harmonies and we have the instrumentation matching it. But it's it, it's still a very unique style, a very unique aesthetic. Because a lot of the, I mean, pretty much the entirety of the mix, it sounds digitized. You know, it, it sounds digital, it, like almost like alien in a way. But it's fun. It's fun to see how that comes together. And it's also fun to see how covers of that are made because it adds that human touch to it, you know? And so it's always fun to see how that community is created around the song. Mm, coming down low. Mm, with the vocal backing. Mm. All right, we're climbing with vocal backing and then cutting out. Now we're, ooh, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I like that. I, we, we pump the bass and then add a bit of breathiness. And, and then we reintroduce the vocalist. That's cool. That, that was nice. Mm. 
nice. It's cool to see how this breathiness, <laughs> this breathy aesthetic is added to the vocals. And, and then we have these quick little jumps. It's always cool to, I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but it just imagine how the human vocals would like constrict for that quick jump up and then come back down and add breathiness and a different demeanor to their vocals which you don't really hear too clearly with the vocaloid but you can still like hear how that breathiness is being emulated how those jumps are being emulated here and it doesn't sound terribly unnatural yeah, well i suppose it sounds unnatural but, but it doesn't sound terribly out of place it, it sounds cohesive and it sounds well put together oh <laughs> listen to that. Listen to how at the tempo that's being carried by the, this new percussive element here, you, you can hear the breathiness under the main vocal matching that. You, you have like another track of just this shaky breath, and it goes to that. It goes to the rhythm of uh, this new percussive element here, which is really really cool. I actually really really like that composition wise. <laughs> right here, that's so cool. All right. All right, so we're like suppressing the vocals here. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we suppress it. We go way down low with this bass effect, and then we come up back up with a new key change. That's actually really, really nice. I, I'm actually super excited to hear how that's covered. The The only thing I... I, I don't really like is the suppression effect but that's a personal choice you know that, that's like a personal opinion i i don't really like it when we, you do like suppress uh, suppression effects on vocals and i guess just the mix in general but i think it'll sound really cool with the bass um with the bass interjection and then coming up high with the key change i think that will actually sound really really cool with uh, covers and i mean not just covers you know even here it sounds really cool Mm. Okay. All right. right that was demon lord from canaria that was really i actually really really like that I, i'd say you know for the instrumentation as a whole or i suppose just the mix as a whole it, you know it, there's this interesting it, it's this interesting idea of consistency right because there's not a crazy amount of difference you know like we add tracks we take away tracks but it, overall, there wasn't a crazy amount of uh, just change, you know, from the beginning of the song to the end of the song. And I, I feel like a lot of times, a lot of songs do that. But uh, what I feel a lot of songs do is they change the way they're projecting their vocals. You know, they, they add more to their vocals and they change their demeanor. They change the intensity of their voice. And that's how they add progression to the song, right? So that's that's something I feel is so critical to a lot of songs and a reason why I tend to prefer, you know, covers of these like Vocaloid songs as opposed to the songs themselves. But that's not to say that, you know, there's still a lot of credit to be given to the original production here. Right. And, and I'm, I'm still a big fan of the composition aspects. It's just I feel that there's so much lost in not having that humanity in the vocals but there's definitely an aesthetic there right there, there's definitely an aesthetic to be appreciated there and uh, some people might even prefer that ex that aesthetic to the human vocal which i think is fair everyone has their own opinion has their own preference um it's just personally i mean i feel also as like a metalhead and a metal enthusiast I tend to lean towards acoustic tones and just the traditional instrumentation and just the 
powerful vocals you know i, I tend to lean towards those things just because you know that's what i listened to growing up that's what i listened to just in my off time you know it's it's just something that's my preference it's as simple as that right and so i think as a composition as a vocaloid song i think this is incredible but as a song in general like i'm like this is cool you know it, this is cool but i want to hear covers of it and you know th that's just from person to person but i do really like how you can hear the shifts recreated in certain ways right and, and even the emulation of the instrumentation right it, it, you can hear how like there's like a synth but it's it almost sounds like a guitar or a synth that almost sounds like horns you know right like uh, to me that sounds like the horns guitar drums all being you know all digital all, all digitized here and all emulated and it's it's a very unique aesthetic right it's something that not everyone likes but i i think it's actually really cool i i really like that but to me it's like if that was recreated acoustically right like if that was just recreated with horns with guitar with drums and then maybe you know for some synth tones you know we still mix in some synth tones i think that production i would probably enjoy more but that's also a personal preference thing right i i, I am afraid i'm re repeating <laughs> i'm like stuttering i'm afraid i'm repeating myself a little bit here but you know i i feel like it's something as someone who's kind of uh, coming into this whole like a vocaloid aesthetic really because a, a lot of things that a lot of songs that are vocaloid songs i was introduced to by covers of it or by like recreations of those songs so sort of i feel still sort of new to the whole vocaloid thing and there's a lot i still don't understand about it that i'm still learning about so to me i i still prefer a lot of acoustic you know recreations of vocaloid songs but i'm interested to hear these originals and see the originals still coming out you know and I, I want to learn more about them and I want to, I, I still appreciate them. You know, I still think they're really cool compositions. Um, and I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts about Vocaloid and just sort of like, what makes you drawn to Vocaloid or, or why would you choose to listen to a Vocaloid song as opposed to a cover of that song? And so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really just my stance on it. I really enjoyed this song, but I, I feel more excited to hear covers of it. That, that's sort of my stance on it. I, I like I really enjoy this composition. I just want to hear how it sounds with human vocalists or even like some acoustic instrumentation, you know. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for recommending. And as always, feel free to recommend more in the comments below. Aside from that, please do let me know uh, what your experience with Vocaloid was or is. And uh, let me know what you guys think about Vocaloid, or, like how you got introduced to it, uh, why you choose to listen to Vocaloid as opposed to covers of them uh just stuff like that so yeah thank you so much and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day